So I've started a recording to demonstrate how to do the status report. And this part is not how to do it, but how to set it up. So there's something called data validation. And if you've got a list, you can click on this little box and you can say, I'm always gonna fill it in with one of those little phrases. And it gives you that little thing. So now you can say, you know, what's up with those? And then I usually hide this so that people don't have to see it. And then I'm going to copy it down. Oops, but those should have been under status. Status. Okay, so now I can come back over here. So we've got one that's... I am just typing terrible. Basic shapes. Oh no, I'm just getting clumsy. Custom hatch. Draw lines. Drawing sizes and title blocks. Load, line types, mouse controls, workspace, setup. So those are the ones. So I'll let you fill these in, but for example, we know for mouse, oops, mouse controls, And workspace so we know for mouse controls that the audio is done and we know for draw lines audio is done and so you'll come back in and tell me i think you do you have the written translation done for uh uh no, you have the Spanish from YouTube done for just about everything, right? Right? Yeah, it's not good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. But but you know what? Our um our videographers can can splice those together really easily. The, the so so having them separated like that actually will work. They just need a time that's really obvious and so might as well just use the ones that that, that you when you see, when you see one done you're gonna go that's so cool it's really good okay so so and do you see where this is I just I just made it there so you can now go through here and I'm gonna do one more really cool thing that you're gonna like um, here it is there's another thing that you can do, and you don't have to know how to do this, but but it's good for you to know that it's there so that if somebody asks you in a job interview or something, well, have you seen this? You go, yes. So it's part of format. It's called conditional formatting. And so I can say if the cell has text, that says audio done then make it green and look it's like it's so cool yeah so then that way you don't have to do it right uh oops that's spent okay and so it's just a really neat thing i learned this when i worked in a in, in a shop and our shop hired uh, workers. It was a machine shop. So we, it was a manufacturing shop. 
And so we had like a third of the people spoke Spanish, a third of the people spoke Russian, and then a third of the people spoke Vietnamese. And, and we had to somehow organize and tell people what needed to be worked on. And our, our foreman said, our foreman knew Spanish and English, but he didn't know how to speak Russian or, you know, so it was really hard. And he wanted people to know. So he just put up stuff by colors. The most important thing to do next was green. The next most important was yellow. And things that were super, super important, like because they were late, were red. Late meant red. So now I don't use, you know, so this just tells me green is done and everything else is not done. Right? Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can go into here. I mean, that'll be part of your job is to now keep this up to date. So let's say, let's just look at uh, basic shapes. I see that you've got the Spanish, the, the, the Spanish transcript done, the written transcript. It's done. So on basic shapes, you could say, Written translation is done. Okay, but I'll let you go through and do that because you might even know without having to look at them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop.